when I first started playing this game I didn't understand how um, you have to use units together to defeat the opponent um, and in particular I didn't understand about that this is a charge breaking so what that means is that uh, when a unit uh, can break a charge then it, if it's charged by something that normally would get the charge bonus it doesn't get that bonus and effectively it's not allowed to charge uh, it, in, in Fantasy General 2 technically if you don't have a charge bonus then you're not charging um, I don't know what the description is anyway anyway so what do you do about it because it makes a big difference if you do this um, what you need to do is if you get a unit like this one which is um, spearman you look at their spear it says the just having the spear breaks the charge this unit cannot be charged by an attacker so if we try to attack it with the berserkers the berserkers like to have it they use their charge bonus but it says that uh, it's a charge breaking so however if we use the, uh, the berserkers and the axemen um, together the result is quite different that's the reason is that the axemen have the harasser capability so a unit that is harassed uh, cannot break a charge and it has a 25% um, reduction in its armor and it also causes 25% less damage to the attacker so the harassed uh, uh, unit is quite a, a lot more vulnerable and so what you should do is you should attack first with that axe unit and then shoot uh, and uh, make all their other attacks after that and in particular you should attack first with the with the axemen and second with the berserks so that's what we'll do here we'll, we'll attack so the um, spearmen are now harassed and if we look at it now with the uh, looking at attacking them with the um, berserks it, it now no longer it's uh, it's now quite clear that they will get the charge bonus or uh, if they needed it in fact in this case the spearmen were already um, damaged so they, they didn't need it um, but that's how it should be done and um, if you do that every time you'll find that uh, you, you suffer fewer casualties um, and you'll uh, win more combats more quickly in fantasy general 2 it's important to be able to move as fast as possible in order to beat the deadline because you've got to get from one side of the board to the other and one of the big helps you can get with this is the wolfhounds uh, the wolfhounds have the pathfinder ability which means they give an additional plus two movement range to anything that's next to them so for instance here I've got uh, one two I've only got two units next to it yeah, yeah two units next to it so when we look at this again shows additional movement um, but the thing is that they can do it twice during the turn because for instance I could now move this guy up to you know he moves quite a long way now he's got his extra two so we'll move him out of the way Spirits. Move him all around here. Okay, so now there's nothing next to the um, next to the wolfhounds, but there's let's see, there's a unit. Yeah. What we do now is look for a place where within movement range of the dogs, where there are two units 
or more so we can maximize oh we'll get we'll just choose this spot here okay so now he's moved these two uh, these other two units get the additional movement as well so um, the uh, wolfhounds act as a, re a really good uh, you could say almost say a force multiplier because they allow you to move up to, uh, uh, theoretically you could get six units surrounding it uh, and uh, you could then um, you could move those six units and then move the dogs to another place where there was say five units for the whole in the middle and then you'll be able to move those other five units with the extra two movement as well. One of the biggest uh, secrets in um, Fantasy General 2 is the strange items that you get sometimes, like letters and uh, treasure maps and a uh, message in a bottle. So, things like these ones. Um, and it turns out that what you've got to do is use the hints in these uh, messages to find the item on a strategic map. So for instance, this is the first one you get, which is uh, which has the key text and it says, Me and my boys left Clan Donner's lands and have gone found shelter at the McNeils. Okay. So you're at the McNeils. So what does that mean? Well if we look around the map We'll come to this thing where it says the last stead is the southernmost stead of the Highlands, run by father and son of House McNeil. So if you click on that, oh, what's this? It says scouts return and you're followed by some filthy man and Meldred and they like to join your army. Right, we've got some bandits, and what's even better is the bandits have, a, have no supply cost, so adding them to your army doesn't um, cost you uh, any morale if your army's already full as far as supply is concerned. Uh, yeah, so it's the same deal with the, the treasure map and all the other things, you've just got to try and find something that um, by clicking everywhere all over the map and using the clues in indicating you know whether it's an island or something um, that's how you'll find what it is and usually they can be they can be very good um, treasures to like one of the armors for instance um, um, gives you plus 10 uh, health every turn 